Hey everyone, it's Brittany on Asked and Answered. So today I decided to look at why languages become endangered, vulnerable, even extinct. I also looked into some examples and looked at different continents to see how many languages are endangered on that continent. So let's get started. Most languages go extinct because their speakers are absorbed by a dominant language or cultural group. Many languages are simply oppressed out of existence, usually by colonial power or their descendants. There are currently 7,000 languages. One language dies about every two weeks. Economic development is wiping them out. We are aware of endangered animals. In fact, we try to save most endangered animals. But we're not really aware of endangered languages, and we don't do much about them. For example, the Eok language was a language from Alaska, and the last speaker died in 2008. Most times, Mandarin or English are often required for upward mobility, in education, and in business, so oftentimes people are forced to learn those languages and sometimes forget their own. It is predicted that in 100 years, there will be only 600 languages remaining. Now, there really isn't a definition for endangered or vulnerable languages. Because there could be 10,000 speakers of a language in Indonesia, but if they're not passing it on to their children, it could be considered endangered, as those are the only speakers left. Versus, there could be a community of 500 speakers of a certain language. But as long as they're expanding and teaching their children, and the language continues, it's not endangered. So there isn't really a specific definition for it. In Africa, there are over 230 vulnerable and endangered languages. An example of one of those languages is from South Africa. It's the Karana language, also known as the Kohimana language. It was thought to be originally extinct, but four elderly speakers were found. Unfortunately, though, in 2012, one speaker remained. Without this language, though, there will be a huge impact on culture. In Asia, there are over 800 languages that are endangered or vulnerable. One example of those languages is from Papua New Guinea, called Masep. It is spoken by fewer than 50 people in a single village. Europe has over 170 languages that are vulnerable or endangered. An example of an endangered language is Belarusian. It is spoken in Russia, Ukraine, Poland, Latvia, Lithuania, and a couple of other countries. There are about 7 million people that call it its own mother tongue, but only 29.4% of those people can actually speak, write, and read, while 52.5% cannot write. In the country of Belarus, they mainly speak Russian. About 72% mainly speak Russian. North America has over 90 languages that are vulnerable or endangered. One of those examples is the Lipan Apache language in the United States in New Mexico. There are two to three elderly speakers still alive. South America, there are over 140 languages that are vulnerable or endangered. An example would be the Anduke language. It's an aboriginal language spoken by a few hundred people in Andike, Colombia, and is in decline. But it used to be in other various countries. It used to have 10,000 speakers in 1908. Now it's down to 370. The Pacific has over 200 languages that are vulnerable and endangered. An example of one of those languages is Njen, or Shark Bay language spoken in Vanuatu. It has only about 450 speakers left. So those are some of the reasons why languages become extinct. And I gave you some examples at the end. We should just have awareness. Because we do have awareness for endangered species. Why don't we have awareness for endangered languages? There will be about 600 left in the next 100 years, going all the way down from 7,000. But thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. The whole purpose of this channel is to learn new things, pretty much. 
I love researching and finding new things and this is what I do. If you have any questions, whether it's about this video about languages or something completely off topic, please write your questions in the comments below. I will research for you and I will make a video for you. So again, please subscribe. Thank you for watching.